Tonight, a sibling duo accused of targeting Girl Scouts appears in court. Yeah, it's a story we have been following from the very beginning in hopes of getting results for the Girl Scout troop. Their cash box stolen at a Volusia County Walmart. Investigators hoping these surveillance pictures would help catch them, and they did. Now they're in jail, but maybe not for long. New Six's Lauren Korn just stepped outside of the courthouse, and Lauren, what did a judge decide? Well, Julie, the judge decided to lower their bonds today their, after their attorney argued that Del Bruge only has a couple of drug charges, his sister has no criminal record, and he says he believes the sister had no idea what was going on when the crime occurred. The siblings accused of stealing hundreds of dollars from a 12 year old Girl Scout outside of Deltona Walmart Sunday afternoon stood before a judge today. So we'd ask for a reduced bond. 25 year old Ashley Winters went first, hiding behind her attorney. The judge reducing her bond from $50,000 to $2,500. You can then see Winters whispering thank you to her attorney before leaving. Meanwhile, 20 year old Nicholas Del Bruge had his $150,000 bond reduced to $25,000, even though the state argued the pair would be a flight risk. He is also a flight risk. He also went to North Carolina after this incident occurred. We spoke with their lawyer shortly after. It appears there's decent evidence against one and the other. It does, I can't tell if she even knew. Deputies say the duo turned themselves in yesterday after getting caught on surveillance video with Winter's daughter in tow. Investigators also say Facebook pictures, tips, and Winter's husband identifying his wife in the pictures helped solve the case. I think we can all agree that you know theft is bad. Um, stealing from a 12-year-old Girl Scout is uh, is particularly low, and uh, we're glad that people stepped up, helped us identify these suspects. Now, both are charged with robbery by sudden snatching and, and theft. Um, we reached out. I called both Winter's husband and the grandfather. Both declined to comment about the case, and both failed to show at today's first appearance. Julie? All right, Lauren, thank you. Lauren Korn reporting live for us tonight.